Hello. A very warm welcome to Chandra Nagi's show at host for paintings, murals and sculptures on January 31st, 2012 at Goregaon. What you see in front of you is a royal peacock. It's a wall mural. It's spread over 26 feet by 7 feet. And on its left and right, you find beautiful glass work to depict the olden royal regal era. Move further right, and you see images of hand with semi-precious stones created on a blue background, as would be done in the interiors and hinterlands of the royal palaces that exist all over India. Just walk through it. Have a look at it. Enjoy the creation. That's the royal peacock. And as you travel, you see the image of Buddha, the ultimate symbol for humanity of love, peace, kindness, and compassion. This work on canvas has been done in cement. Chandra is the only artist probably in the world who's used cement, who's dared to use cement and paint a canvas. <clears throat> and this is the blue Buddha. The blue is a symbol of sky and infinity. And below the image, if you look carefully, you will see written in the original script, Om Mani Padme Hum, the Lotus Ritual. This is a metal Buddha. The waves represent the teaching and the relevance of the teachings of Buddha in this entire universe. Done in brass, cast, handmade. This is the image of Buddha from Afghanistan, the Bamiyan Buddha, which was destroyed by the Taliban. The initial pictures obtained through satellite served as the start point for creating this canvas. Now comes the section of contemporary art. This is made in brass in half circles, cast, painted in patina green. Below at are symbols made in wood, in jade, and in metal the horses. If you travel further, you will see Buddha in a temple. This is made of metal ah. and semi-precious stones. Ah. Further in the Kana is a stone ceramic Buddha with wooden pieces carved of the Buddha's foot, the lotus. One of my most favorite pieces, you can sit under this canvas, meditate, and I assure you, you will get lost into the world of peace and harmony. In the purity of Buddha, the dark colors used signify how ignorant we are and if we follow the teachings of the Buddha, we are potential Buddhas, the enlightened one. Buddha is always known for his purity and simplicity which is why you find this Buddha in pure white sitting on a lotus. Look closely. It's a creation of a Buddha within a Buddha within a Buddha. The Buddha is there in everyone. It's there in you too. 
Further down in this display, you find modern and contemporary art. A lot of splash of colors, but at the same time carrying the message of spirituality. Move further down and you come to where we had started, the royal symbol of peacocks as used by the royalty in India. I hope you enjoyed seeing it as much as Chandra enjoyed creating it. Thank you. God bless you. Have a very wonderful and blessed day.